Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monet. If you are new to my face, you guys are already returning and you are already a subscriber. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Today we are going to be doing a fashion overhaul, but before we get into that, please do me a favor. Go ahead and thumbs up this video before we get into it, as well as subscribe if you have not. When you subscribe, please tap that bell all to be notified for all uploads. Thank y'all so much for watching my last try on haul and running it up. If you have not, I will link it right here. Now, some of this is a little risque and sexy, a little out of my comfort zone, but we are going to try it out nonetheless. So if you guys are interested in seeing all that I got from Fashion Nova, let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, you guys, so this first piece is going to be this denim dress. I think it's super, super pretty. Now... Let's first start off on how this is made. Now, it has some stretch in it, and I always feel like I struggle with this back area anyway. It is already rolling down for me. Like, go with your normal size. It's actually a size 2X, and honestly, I was just like, okay, Monet, if you can't fit this, you just cannot fit this. And I actually paired it with, like, some gold shoes. But honestly, if I was to wear this out, I probably would either pair it with, like, some denim, like a denim bag, or maybe, like, gold or white. I mean, either one I feel like would be cute. Um, and you could dress it down or dress it up. Um, but in regards to the stretch, there's not too much stretch going on. Um, I did notice some stretch in the back as far as like where the zipper is, which usually is my issue. Like I didn't think it was going to get on my butt because it was just tight on my butt. It going down in the back as it is, is already sending me. I really love this portion though. I just love it. It has like the boobs giving you a little bit of boob action, but not too much. But overall, I love this denim dress. I think it is really a cute mix to have in your closet. Definitely something that I would wear to brunch or just like a casual. I can't even say casual because anytime somebody says brunch, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get dressed up. I'm going to put something cute on one. Now, I may wear a little sandal or something, but the face is going to be beat, and I'm going to be prepared for brunch. Um, now, if you feel like you can size down and you want to put on a really tight spank or some undergarment, I say go for it. But I'm just letting you guys know what to expect. So this next piece is going to be this dress right here. But this is a size of 1X. I probably could have gotten a 2X. Um, it is quite snug right here in this area, like, like right here. And I know it's because... This wagon that I'm dragging. So I really, really do like this bubble dress. I don't even think I would do anything casual. I would pair it with like some heels. And I ended up pairing it with like white heels and a white bag. Because I just felt like that was cute. And it already has enough color in it. So I just feel like why not just do something neutral. Um, but as far as like the fit of it. I want to say this is a size 1X. Definitely could have stayed with my 2X. But in a sense I'm wondering if it would have been not as fitting but the dress is definitely giving i do think this is a cute piece to add to your wardrobe i've been really obsessed with like longer dresses lately it gives me a really classy vibe um i don't feel like you always have to have your legs out but you know y'all know i'm that girl I, I love to show me a little skin here and there um the only thing i will say if you have large arms just be mindful because your arms are going to be out it's like it's more of a half sleeve you guys so um just be mindful your arms are going to be out if you are someone who is not comfortable i know for me personally i'm not always comfortable with my arms being out i got these things and they be doing their own thing okay um but just keep that in mind the heel that i paired with it was a really low heel probably like two inches and it's still definitely love this one i actually have another bubble dress that i'm getting ready to put on to show you guys so let me go ahead and slide into that really quick so we can go ahead and knock both of these out right, you guys so excuse the noise outside i am trying to get through this video and i swear if it ain't the people upstairs somebody outside next piece is going to be this gorgeous purple bubble dress now obviously what caught my eye was the color the only reason i actually went for this item because it was a bubble dress material so crazy thing is this is also a size 1x as well and i was putting it on i was able to just slide into it from the top no issues so this bubble dress does not have as much stretch in it as this one but this has a lot of stretch in it you guys so you technically could have sized down i probably could have sized down at least two sizes if i wanted it a lot more snugger a lot more tighter just to get a few wears out of it so i don't know where i'm wearing this too but clearly she gonna wear this somewhere um i did decide to pair some gold heels with it i am gonna end up doing some gold like a gold bag and probably like a chunky chain or something don't know necessarily how i see my hair you know with this dress but i know it's definitely a vibe i was gonna try doing it with the white but i was like no 
I keep trying to stay away from my gold, but gold is just me. And that's just what I like. I just love the material, y'all, of this dress. So it has the adjustable straps, which I do like um, for the fact that you're able to kind of tighten this area up. It did have like a lot of space in it. And as you can see, it does have like a lot of stretch in it. Y'all, when I say a lot of stretch, I was not playing. So like, it's so cute. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, you guys, but I just think it is the cutest. Um, but yeah, overall, love the dress. I don't know why I'm going to wear this too, but I am going to wear it. We can get it for brunch, dinner, whatever it is, but it's super comfortable. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's clinging. Like it's snug, but it's not clinging to my body. Um, so that's why I said I still have room in it, even though it is a one. But that is the dress, you guys. A little spin around, a little turn, turn. That's what we get. Um, but this black and white dress, I think this is really cute. Now, let me say this. I got this in a 1X. It has a lot of stretch to it, but it is that very tight, firm type material that I feel like um, is great for like tummy control. So because of that, when I was actually putting the dress on, y'all, it didn't hit my lip. Got some makeup on the inside of the dress. So be mindful of that. Um, if you are doing your makeup prior to putting your outfit on, um, I would say put a towel in, in between, you know, so that way you don't get any makeup on your outfit. Um, I did end up getting a 1X in this dress. I do think it's really, really cute. Um, it definitely caught my eye. You guys know that I'm a fan of the black and white, of course. It does have two slits on each side as well, which I think is cute because it's not too high or anything like that showing too much. And you can still wear like your shapewear and be okay with it. So definitely think this is a cute number. Um, I would actually wear this to brunch with the girl. Now, this actually drew me to this dress as far as, like, the collar kind of, you know, it's like a, not even a turtleneck, but like a half turtleneck type vibe. So, I thought it would be cute. And it's really thick material. So, you guys know how I feel about a good black and white number. It's always going to be my thing. Guys, so, this next dress is going to be this gorgeous green number. Um, now, this is actually, like, that sweater material. So, depending on where you're at, you may be a little bit warm. Um, but... It's finna go into fall. I feel like this is something that you could bring from the summer into fall. And I think this is really, really pretty for like, honestly, any occasion. Like, it only has two buttons, but I only got one button up. I just love the halter top look. I love this. I still feel like I have enough coverage because it pulls up the top. So, now, this is rolling down in the back for me, but I noticed that I can just kind of do like this and tuck it underneath my armpit. And it'll stay for a little while. I actually wish this was a little longer. Like, I wish this actually went to the floor. Um, now, underneath it, it does have, like, a kind of slip material. So, if you choose not to wear any panties or any undergarments, you can definitely get away with it. All right, so, let me turn around and give you guys a twirl. First of all, can we give it up for the booty? Because the dress is doing something for this butt. Love it, love it, love it. I just wish that I could have had it a little bit more lit. Hi, you guys. So really quick, I wanted to show you guys this dress right here. Honestly, I'm thinking this is going to be my B-Day dress. I think it's really, really cute. If you remember when I went on vacation, I had wore like a hot pink dress. Gorgeous. I have the hot pink version of it. I think it comes in pink, green, yellow, and blue, if I'm not mistaken. But love how it fits, you guys. I don't know if the other dress that I have is a size 1X. I'm going to have to look at it. But this is the size of this dress. I actually slid in it though. I was able to like step into it and slide it on, which I love. Now it is a little snug. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be the birthday outfit. Um, I like the way it fits. It's not like too tight, um, but I love the fact that it's keeping me like sucked in and tucked, okay? Like I, I don't even need to breathe for my birthday. Like I just need to exist, celebrate, and just be fine. Like, so that's how it looks in the back. Um, this is how it looks on the side. Something sexy to slip into for your date night or whatever. Guys, that is the dress. I'm going to turn around so that way you guys can see. Give y'all a one, two, three. All right, you guys. I wanted to come and show you this dress. I ended up pairing this dress with some new shoes and an orange bag just to complement the colors that are going on in this outfit. I like the fact that it is fitting. Um, I want to say I got a size 1X in this, um, but re what really actually caught my eye was the material, that's the material, was the material of the dress um, because of the 
of course it's neon orange but it still has some neutrals to it and i was like oh this is cute like this is giving me brunch i knew i wanted to do something neutral because there's a lot going on with the colors like i'm gonna do a quick turnaround so that way you guys can see how it looks it keeps coming down in the back but yeah it's that pop type material that I was talking about earlier. So I actually like when outfits are made like that because it's easier for me, number one, to have a form-fitting outfit. Um, and also, I just know that I'm not going to overstretch the material out as far as like when you wash it and it gets like extra stretch from wears. I, I like the material from this. I do think this is very thin, so it's something nice to wear. You could take this into the fall because it's giving that pumpkin spice latte type feel anyway. I think this is super cute. I love the way it looks on me and honestly I always love pieces that I could just slide into and I don't have to do too much. Like I don't like a lot of clothes and I want to be cute at the same time. <laughs> Definitely love this piece. What y'all think? All plus size babies come to the floor you guys. When I say I did not realize that I was going to like this dress as much as I like it. Number one I was just trying something outside of my element. Okay. Number two, the dress is completely sheer and see through and I love this now I don't know where I would wear this to but it's cute and I feel like if you were that girl who do not want to wear a shapewear underneath you definitely can but I love the fact that the print actually kind of hides a little bit of the skin so it's not so sheer you know baby it's given what needs to be gave first off I did not know how I was gonna feel about these sleeves and I love these these make me feel so feminine um, I ended up pairing this dress with some white heels. I did a white bag. I thought it was cute that way, especially just bring out more of the white. So I'm actually going to not put this in the haul because I just didn't think it was going to be flattering. But it's complete opposite of what I was even thinking. And this is just proof that sometimes you will talk yourself out of some things. And you need to just go ahead and <laughs> go forward and just do it, okay? So that is my diva talk to you guys today. Just do it. Like the lesson of the day. Stop talking yourself out of blessings. Stop talking yourself out of things. Just go do it, girl. You got it. Yeah. Okay, Fashion Nova, I see you. This one, yeah. This one is cute. Yeah, I wish they had a different color, like a black and white. Oh, or maybe like a nude, like a brown and white or something, or brown and beige. Yeah, absolutely. You'll get me. All right, you guys, so I quickly wanted to share this dress right here. Y'all know how I feel about a black and white number. And I feel like this one actually did not disappoint me. It was so crazy because these last two pieces were actually the pieces that I was going to try to avoid putting on. Because honestly, it was sheer and see-through. Um, This is actually a two-piece, but it comes with just like a penny type um, underwear. I probably would end up going with like a more panty shape wear just with this dress, just so that way it's not showing all the way through i do feel like the last dress it camouflaged it really well but because this is white and my undergarment is black i feel like you can see it but in regard to the material i love it it's very sheer i do like the fact that it's breathable you guys um this is super cute i would wear this actually for a date night i don't know if i would wear this for a brunch i feel like this is probably a little too sexy for a brunch but if you single and you ready to mingle i definitely feel like why not go ahead and put it on I think it's super cute. It does have some stretch to it as well. But yeah, that's how it looks. Let me do my little twirl around. Um, That is what it's giving. So this dress right here, I think is really, really pretty. Now, I don't know what happened because I have like a spot on my dress and it's right in the nude area. I still wanted to come and show you guys how this dress look. Um, One thing I really do like about this dress is that it has like the crisscross um, backings, which I think give great support for bustier people. I love the support it gives. I love the crisscross um, in the back, you guys. Like the straps, it has like enough stretch in it. Um, but in the same sense, it's still able to hold the girls up. Now, I was a little bit iffy in regard to these cup because when it comes to things that have like a cup inside of the um, item, whether it's a top, a dress, whatever it is, I can never fit in it. But I can slide this dress probably a little bit longer. I actually slid into this dress, you guys. But it does come in the back with a zipper um, so you can zip it up if you want, but I actually just was able to get, get in it without doing all of that, so. It attracted me to it because it was neutrals. You guys know how I feel about it, and I love the black and the nude contrast. I originally paired it with, like, black and gold, 
but I don't know. Like, I kind of want to see what it looks like with, like, nude heels. It isn't too stretchy, but it is stretchy at the bottom. All right, you guys, so this piece is going to be this leather bodysuit, as well as these pants. Now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I pictured it a little bit different in my head. I pictured it a lot different in my head, actually. Now, the pants I thought were cute on the website, but they're too big. So, I got a size 1X in these pants. These pants have hella stretch in them. But yeah, I don't I don't really wear pants that don't like that aren't tight on me because I do like the compression that it gives in this area. I don't know what I was thinking. So I ended up changing my bottoms and I put on like just some pleather like leggings. I think this is actually a cute number together like whether with like some type of boots, some cute heels, a cute purse. Um, but we are here for the bodysuit, you guys. But the bottoms is also from Fashion Nova. I just don't remember what they are called. But this bodysuit, I think, is really, really pretty. I actually was going to go get a silver one like this. I think it's super comfortable. It has a lot of stretch in it. This is a size 2X. I, I'm always scared to size down with bodysuits because I just don't know how much space down there you have, you know? I'm debating about pairing it with some denim, though. I'm not even sure if I even like how it looks with these pants as well. But I do know that it looks better with something a lot more snugger. I know that for a fact. Cause those pants just was not, it just wasn't giving what I thought it was gonna give with this shirt, with, with the top. Right, so. You guys, so this is going to be the last number that I show you guys. It is a thicker material. So it does have a little bit of control on the stomach area. I think I ended up going with a 2X because I was just a little bit scared of how it was going to fit, if I'm not mistaken. If I, honestly, what drew me to this was the colors. I was trying to actually add just a few color pieces to my wardrobe just to kind of try out. And it's already a lot going on. I just went and paired it with gold shoes and a gold bag. I just felt like that was just me being safe. I'm sure I have orange shoes if I wanted to, but I just feel like there's a lot of orange going on in... We already got color, so let's go ahead and go with something basic. But yes, you guys, I really like the material. Like I said, it does have some stretch to it, although it is a thicker type knit material. I just wish it was a little bit snugger up here, but you know, honestly, I feel like in order to get that, I would have had to size down even more. If you don't want your stomach showing, obviously you could definitely just pull it up. But I mean, that's the whole point of this two pieces to have a little skin out. Um, I do like the two slits on the side. I think that is cute. It's not too high. I've seen a lot of people rock this two piece outfit and it looks good on everybody that I've seen. So I had to try it out. Definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, it's really cute. It's a cute two piece. It was simple to put on. I love the material and the fabric. Um, it does give you a little bit of control, but I would say, honestly, I would have sized down a little bit just to have this be a little bit more fitted on me so it can stay in place. Wear this actually to like brunch or something. Um, maybe like a light lunch if I was going out. Um, I don't know. Alright you guys, so that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you found something or saw something that you like. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and add to that card. Um, if you did, let me know what your favorite piece was down below. If you didn't, still let me know what your favorite piece was or what kind of caught your eye. And thank y'all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And before you guys leave, be sure, thumbs up this video. That is going to let you two know you'd like to see this. Plus, it's going to let me know you guys want more try on hauls as well. And if you have not, be sure to subscribe as well. Go ahead and tap that bell and tap all to be notified so that you guys don't miss anything. And I'll check you guys in my next video. Later.